Well, good morning. It's a uh, it's a warm one again. Started out cool, but uh, boy, the humidity's coming up, and cutting that wood didn't help. So we're back again for another carving and coffee. All right, let's just uh, mark our center line on here again, roughly. All around. Right. Yeah, kind of a rough sketch on here, so I'm just going to start with the Identifying the head. Marking it all out. I'm gonna go right around with that. It's probably about an inch and a half or so. Maybe two, closer to two inches. Just gonna get some shoulders on here. Thin the head out right away. Got a bigger knife right now. I'm using the two and a quarter uh, Helby rough out this time. I thought the uh, the traffic would be a little bit quieter, but my goodness, the highway is just screaming today. Smoke in the eyes. Phew. Just separating three sides of the head, not the front, because this guy's going to have a beard. Okay, let's just take off that uh, shoulder up. So we're just going to go both sides. We're going to give them a shoulder edge here just by whittling that off. I think we had a deer come up beside us there. Finn started growling and looking and there's crashing back in the bush there, so that's kind of cool. That happened to me if you've seen the, uh, actually the video where the uh, coughing and carving started. I was uh, the, what was it called? The birth of Sycamore Sam, one of my earlier videos. And uh, we had that happen too, a deer just sitting here quietly and the deer came up out of the bush. So. Okay, so now we can see we've got kind of a head designated anyway, but not the front. So I'm just going to round this, just like you can see here. I'm going to round it all over, all the way around. Give it a give it a head shape. So I'll probably round the uh, around the front too. Just round it right over, all around. Okay. So we got kind of his head isolated. This is the center still, still flat. We got a rounded over head. A little bit back here. So let's switch gears now. Oh, here. Let's switch gears and uh, let's isolate the feet. So we're gonna come in like that and just give, come down a bit of an angle like that. But, alright, so we'll notch this in here and uh, show where the feet are. This guy, uh, a bit of a jacket, we're gonna run that all the way around. So, once we got that, uh, established we can uh, we can notch all these undercut and then our legs can be skinnier all around like here and here and then this way up to the jacket like that and then we're going to uh, we're gonna pull his face out in front here we're give him a big face so basically from the back of the neck it's gonna come around you can see that. This will be his new face. 
So we're going to take this corner out of here. Okay. So. We'll do this coat here. Now we can really get those legs skinned up. Just kind of winging it here. We got our head all separated, like so. We got legs somewhat separate from the coat. So let's just go and all these sharp, all these sharp edges here, all around. Let's just round them all over, around the shoulders, right over the whole back, right up to the head, the back of the head. Let's just give them a, a proper shape, not a not a square. Some round shoulders on here. Okay. I just keep rolling it over and just every time I see something I don't really care for, I just clean it, clean it up a little bit. So we're getting a rough shape here. So we need some uh, we need some arms on these guys. So this guy here, he's going to uh, have a one hand in the pocket on this side. Something like that. And this guy on this side, he's going to be, uh, have his arm right down, straight down. In fact, the coat's going to come up a little bit because he's going to be hanging on to something. So we might have to raise that coat a little bit, but his arms are going to come straight down and he's going to have a little hand on the bottom, so. Start with this. Bitten by something in the bush. Something's back there. So it's kind of fun. I don't know if I got it. We'll see if the, it shows up on video, but coming in we had two raccoons also playing on the ground. They ran up the tree right away. And I didn't have quite a good enough zoom to get them, but uh, I hope I did. I hope I did. Let my fire go down. We get our fired up, going good here, and we'll put a coffee on once we got some good coals again. There's some flames anyway. Well, we wait for that to get going. Just finish up a couple of things here. Yeah. So when we had the coat, remember the uh, the coat was as wide as the arms. So we're making the uh, focus. So we're making the uh, we're taking away the coat to make the arms. So that means we're going to keep taking away the coat all the way around, so that the arms will stick out more. See here? 
I've got a little bit more to take off in here to make it even. But that's how we uh, we make the arms by taking away the coat. So it's going to clean up a little bit more in here. We'll be ready for a coffee. And then we're going to move on to the nose. But that's where we are. Well, the uh, the fire's getting going good. And I just don't have a lot of work left with this uh, the big rough out knife. But uh, it was starting to get a little bit uh, really dull, really. It was starting to... You can tell when it starts to peel and tear and doesn't cut as nice, so it's a good time to get out the strop and give her a good stropping. That's a boil. Let that sit for a little bit and uh, should be good. This is the uh, the property that uh, I grew up on uh, until I was 19. Uh, my parents still live here. They're in their 80s. And uh, I've been cutting firewood here my whole life and I've really loved the ash trees. In the last few years, we've had the emerald ash borer go through and it's wiped out all the ash trees, which is a shame. But uh, they're all dead. So uh, we've got hundreds of them standing here and the, the, the bottoms are starting to get a little bit punky. But the tops are all still good, good hardwood. So, in an effort to uh, make use of it, my dad asked my nephew if he would come and uh, cut firewood, and we store him in the barn since he wasn't working. And they asked if they could borrow my uh, my chainsaw, and I said that's fine. So I met him here one morning, and uh, I got him set up with the saw. I said I'll come back at the end of the day and see how you made out. So I did that, and uh, came back at the end of the day. He had one one little tree laying on the ground. And I said, what is your problem? I said, you've, you've been here all day long. I'm not sure if that's why he wasn't uh, working, but anyway, you've been here all day long, you got one little tree here. He said, he said to me, he said, that saw you gave me is terrible. It does not work. I said, really? Because uh, I just tuned it all up last week. So anyway, I went over and I grabbed the chainsaw. I put the, put the choke on it. Pulled the cord and the boy jumped, ran back, and I said, "What is your problem?" He said, "What is that noise?" All right, back to work. We're going to establish a nose here so that we can go from there. So I drew a line here, a little higher than halfway from the bottom, but, and uh, we're just going to get that nose uh, sectioned out. 
just so we know where we are. Okay, got that. Are you focusing? Focus. All right, see that? Just put a cut there. And that will just come up a ways. And try and cut out. Okay. Take that chip out. Both sides. I think I'm going to change knives. So now we got a nose. Let's get this uh, hat on him. So I haven't told you yet, but this fella is a woodsman. So we're going to give him a nice black toque. Where's my fat marker? Anyway, we're going to give him a toque. So we're going to start low. We're going to come right around. Just around there like that. Okay, so we're just gonna just gonna cut on the line. We're gonna come up underneath a bit, but not too much because I don't want a toque does not sit on top of your head. The, the toque is basically part of your your skull. So I'm just gonna go around. We'll get her all, just little baby steps all the way around. And then once we get this kind of, we're just kind of finishing up all the dimensions. That's, you know, then we can clean up and do more details after, but we just need to know where everything goes. So just kind of working the way around, putting his hat on. We're going to have a brim on it after too, but uh, we'll worry about that later. Start working on this guy's face here. His head is way too big, so let's let's narrow narrow his whole face back. Right down below the nose and everything. First thing I want to do is give him like a real a brow. Okay. Like that. And then we'll just actually I'm gonna cut that in right away. Keeping it up a little bit around the nose. We'll leave at the we'll leave it at the top of the nose for now. Okay. Let's get some eyes on this fella. Like I said last time. These are not my my strong area. But we'll give her a go. This kind of goes back a little bit this way. Right. So basically I'm gonna do this top cut first. And I'm gonna kinda of come out a little bit on the side. Hope you can see that. Looks like a oh, I can't see. Looks like he's got makeup on. All right, here we go. 
We come in just a little bit. Follow that around. I'm just going to kind of undercut it. Let's come out all the way down. Okay, and then the same with the bottom. And it comes into that line, and that line comes through. So we're going to come around like that. So I'm going to clean this up. These inside corners. We're going to just do that three-way cut again. Take out a little bit the inside chip. And the same with this outside. That three-way cut. Pop it out. And I know you can't see nothing with that marker in there so I'm going to clean this up and I'll do the other side and uh, we'll do some eyebrows separate it and then the mouth okay you can see the eyeballs here you can see what I meant about the uh, coming down and the eye comes up into it so put a little extra little wrinkle here I'll do that on both sides Okay, and then we'll, we'll hollow out this a little bit later on, but uh, for now we're going to do that V-cut, we're going to separate the eyebrows, okay, oh, something like that, and then we're just going to flare that back under the hat, creating a bit of an eyebrow. Like that. You see that? Just gonna roll it up. And that's where the paint will come in after we uh, put some V cuts in it. Okay. Just come around the nose. <laughs> okay. So let's uh, move on here. And uh, we gotta have that hair coming down like so. We're going to separate that to give a little bit of a reveal there, so let's just do that right now. Make sure you got them fairly even. And let's just uh, separate that. That. Maybe we give him a little bit of a hairline. His beard's gonna come into that. I forgot to say, I do have a new secret weapon for the eyes, too. Got me some glasses. Is that you? Huh? Anyway, they help a lot. So, the fun thing about the beard is that uh, it really brings out the cheeks and because uh, of more depth it really brings out the character in the guy so let's just uh i give him his beard how high is that there always try to do the same on both sides otherwise it look goofy all right and then uh on top of the beard is always the, the mustache. So. Anyway, you get the point. So. Let's just take these, uh, well, let's start with the mustache maybe.
it's hard keeping uh, keeping the carving visible for the camera. So we're just kind of making that the uh, mustache. It's just going to kind of sit on top of the beard. We can we can deepen it later. So let's come around the, the cheeks. Make that beard stand out. By making the beard stand out, then we can pop the nose out, make it all deeper. All right, that's where we are. So, I think I'll uh, move down to the the feet for a little bit. Alright, let's give this guy some boots. So, I don't know. Let's say about an inch. Roughly an inch. Alright. Same thing again. I'm just going to make that little bead cut. Just separating the the boot from the pants. The boots are going to be a little bit bigger so you can bring the pants into the boots. So, happy day. I do have my V tool. So, I'm just going to show you and draw some lines on this guy. So we're gonna make a brim on his hat. We're gonna do this all the way around. We're gonna do that with the V tool. And then we'll just put little checks in it like that. And then we're gonna give him a jacket with the V tool. We're gonna give him uh, soles of his, on his boots with the V tool. So. Move the starter up. Right. We will uh, I'll leave the, the whiskers for now. So we separate his coat. I always like to uh, go with a knife though after and give it a different height so that they don't look the same. A little bit offset like that. All right. The boots. We're just gonna run it around the whole boot. Yeah. Kind of gives it a sole on the boot. I'll round the bottom with a knife after. And then let's work on the hat. Run that around, same height around the hat. And then I'll put these little, little knit marks in it, little things. Like that. So, and then I'm going to bring my knife and just kind of join the hat so that the brim sticks out a bit. So I'm just going to go into that bottom of the V with my knife. Kind of just like that. Just so that the brim sticks out. And then clean it all out. So 
something I've been avoiding is uh, this arm that comes down straight here it needs a hole in here like that See on the back side right through so I MacGyvered up this uh, drill bit and a dowel And that's just going to go in here, hopefully, without wrecking it. Hopefully I can just get that through there. I think I'm going to start from both sides too, just to I gotta go take a little bit of wood out of here. I'm just going to go from both sides and meet in the middle. The tool that I'm going to put in there is going to be uh, cut in half. So it's, uh, it's perfect to join inside the hand. Before we continue, I'm just uh, taking the V-tool and I'm giving some, uh, some whiskers to this fella here. Do some hair just before we do our last uh, step of the game. So you don't need as many V cuts as you think. I used to think you needed a whole whack of them, and uh, I've come to think differently now. I used to think you had to have them like all, all touching each other, and but it doesn't really matter. Something like that to start with. Hopefully I can, uh, I can split that, that'd be great. We've got our little man here and our little whittled axe. So what we got to do is kind of roughly uh, figure out where we want him to hold it. So if we want him to hold it here, I'll just put a little mark with my uh, my knife, and then I'll just cut it in half. So let's do that quick. There you go. So there's our man holding the axe. I'll put some water on it and uh, just to highlight everything. And uh, I think we got it. 
All right, guys. Here is our little man. A little axe-wielding lumberjack. So, yeah, another uh, another fun project. He uh, he turned out okay. I was a little worried. In fact, I wasn't sure if I was going to get him done or not. But uh, there he is. So. Yeah, I'm pleased with him. So what we'll do is I'll go home and uh, I'll paint him up and then uh, I'll come back and uh, say my farewells. But fun, fun, fun guy. Alright guys, I got the, uh, the little fellow all painted up here. So without further ado, here's our little man. There he is. You have a green coat, work boots, black hat he's got brown eyes and a, a beautiful colored beard holding his axe so there's our little woodsman and when i look at him he reminds me of somebody but i just can't put my finger on it yet but he'll come to me so anyway hope you like the video and if you're on instagram uh check me out doug outside because once in a while i'll throw a guy like this up for auction just to uh to feed the hobby if you like that kind of thing and you're interested uh, dug outside on instagram so again thanks for watching and uh we shall see you on the next one bye